Hey guys, Jason Andrews here. Thanks for tuning in. If you guys remember about a year ago, I uh, was shooting all my videos on the uh, GoPro. I had the Hero 3, I think at that time. And I made my first investment to really take this channel uh, quality-wise to, to the next level. I'm still working on the content, right? That That's still getting better, but uh, quality-wise, right? Uh, and that was the Canon 70D. That's what I'm filming on right now. And that made a huge impact to the channel. Uh, I had a lot of messages when uh, that first episode of season two came out. Uh, you know, j just about overall the, the quality. You know, I had the 70D, that's when I introduced the drone. Uh, but to be honest, since then for about a year, I haven't really upgraded any gear. Um, but that's changed. Uh, there's been a few things that I've been lacking um, that I wish I could do. Uh, two things. One, I wanted to be able to shoot 120 frames per second, uh, and I wanted to do that with the lenses that I already own. So you guys are probably saying, hey, the GoPro shoots, you know, slow-mo and, you know, it works fine. Yeah, it does work fine, but it looks like a GoPro, and I can't really shoot the type of footage that I want with a GoPro. So I did a ton of research trying to figure out basically the cheapest way that I could get into 120 frames per second and use all my lenses, my Canon lenses that I have. Uh, actually, this is a Sigma 18 to 35, but use these uh, crop sensor lenses that I have. And what I finally found was uh, an Ursa Mini 4K. So, uh, you know, I, I found the Ursa used online on Craigslist. I made, uh, I bargained with the guy, a totally cool guy, but, you know, but we, we worked out a deal uh, and it was like the cheapest thing that I could get into to shoot slow motion with my lenses. Um, I'll be honest, like so far, I really love it. I've used it on a few shoots for work. Uh, I've done a, a, a little bit of commercial stuff with it and then just kind of messing around for the vlog. Now, obviously I got the camera to shoot 120 frames per second at 1080, and that, for the majority that's what I'm using it for. Uh, now, it can shoot 4K, it can shoot 4K at 60 frames, it can shoot 4K raw. It, this is not a review on this by any means, but uh, this is a beast of a camera, and this was the cheapest way that I could get into uh, what I needed. So. Uh, Again, I'm not going to give a, any type of review on this, at least not for a while. Um, there were a lot of uh, people saying that this is not a run and gun camera, meaning like you just can't pop up to shoot, boom, 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 hit record and, and you're good to go. Now, I'm just an amateur, um, but I'll tell you what, I got a, an external battery for it, I slide it on, I put my lens, I flip out the screen, I make sure that, you know, whatever, it's exposed properly, I hit record and, and I'm going. You know, you know, like just a few minutes. Sure, I'm not using the XLR mics. I don't, you know, but I don't need a, a huge team, you know, filming team to use this thing. Uh, now maybe to get the best out of it, right? But uh, right now I'm, I'm incredibly happy just with this thing. So, speaking of that, uh, today is my boxer's, uh, my male boxer's second birthday. So last year we got a cupcake, we put a bunch of peanut butter on it, and, you know, we gave it to him and uh, he loved it, you know. So this year we're gonna do the same, except we're gonna film it on the Ursa Mini in slow motion. So uh, I'm gonna leave you guys with that. So the next thing you see will be just a short little video of Zerg the Boxer uh, eating his birthday cake uh, in slow motion. So thank you so much for watching. Hit like and subscribe, uh, and I'm just gonna keep trying to give you guys the best quality and entertaining content that I can. So, see you guys.